Now there's uh, just about enough time for a quick bite to eat before kickoff. <laughs> Uh, as the folks down at Upton Park are finding out at the moment, they have something to get your teeth into. <laughs> if you've got some. Yes. yes. Well, somebody's teeth. <laughs> may, have, may have bitten off more than he can chew, <laughs> I think. Um, Matt, what do, you, what do you fancy? Um, a hamburger, a hot dog, meat pie with gravy, baldy pie? All four? All of them, All yeah. four. <laughs> OK. Well, if you were at Forest Green today, they'd all be off the menu, and you might just be a bit healthier. Johnny Phillips explains. Burgers and hot dogs, they're as much a part of the match day ritual as the game itself. But for how much longer? Forest Green Rovers have removed red meat from not only the diets of the players, but also the fans. I guess we just did it and I uh, hoped we could take the fans with us and I think that we have. And we brought along a very uh, a fantastic veggie burger that we've known about for a few years. It's handmade for us in London. And uh, some of the guys that are real hardcore meat eaters have, have come up to us recently and said actually they love the veggie burger. Down in the concourse, there's veggie burger and chips and curry sauce and that kind of stuff. And then up at the top uh, in the in the sweets and the boxes and stuff, there's a whole whole range of stuff the chef knocks up. And what we've left on the menu is um, is chicken and fish, so free range chicken and, and sustainable fish. The correct thing to do with players is to is to give them things that they can digest easily. So it's no good giving them meat, which might red meat, which might take 24 hours to digest. So they're going to feel heavy uh, for a game. It's a great spread. To be fair, we've got a bit of everything on pasta, chicken, so. Um, the veg as well. I'm very happy with it. Yeah. Well, this is all you need on your plate as an athlete, don't you? you don't, if, if the chairman doesn't want red meat in our body, then then we won't have it in our body. And if there's one thing a football fan is an expert on, it's football food. Whether it's pies, hot dogs, burgers, or fish and chips, the belly is where the heart is. Steak, pie, and a hot dog, and a bovril and a tea, please. We're gonna dance. Fish, chips, peas, pies, the lot, that's all we have here. I'd say they're probably a bit nicer, um, but uh, I think it depends what ground you're in, really. I wouldn't eat anything at Chelsea, I'll tell you. I always have a pie whenever I go to an away match, and Birmingham was the best. Everything's about the best for pies, like. But other than that, I don't know. Uh, oh, uh, Torquay, they're quite good. You've got to go for a meat and potato pie. There's nothing like a meat and potato pie at a football match. And a bob rub. The kind of stuff that finds its way into your average pie or burger or sausage or something, I mean, that shocks me. It would shock anybody to know what parts of the animal are allowed into those products. I mean, all the parts you can't do anything else with, you know, the parts you wouldn't think you can actually eat, but they're in there. One of the things we're trying to do is bring our message, our environment message, to this new audience and say, look, uh, actually, you know, there are better things to eat, better ways to live. Uh, we're going to bring all sorts of other eco initiatives to Forest Green, um, an organic football pitch, LED floodlights, PV on the stands. We're recycling the rainwater and the drain water to, to um, water the pitch, that kind of stuff. Dale Vince has an environmental track record through his green electricity company, Ecotricity. Bringing his ideas to football is the next step. Their burgers are sourced from vegetarian seller Ramona's Kitchen. The alternative foods when you try them are, are really quite quite wonderful. The hardest thing I think for people is to get over the initial shock of the change and, and be willing to give it a try. And in terms of price, what's the difference between a veggie burger and uh, this the traditional burger? Well, we held the same price. The veggie burger costs a lot more. It's a much uh, higher quality product, uh, but we just held the same price. What we care about is actually giving our fans and our visitors good food. It's a compelling argument, but can you imagine the day when the burger gets banned? Oh no, it's so unthinkable. <laughs> no vegetarian burger? Oh no, that's not an option. It's not on the menu. It's the best part of the afternoon, that is. That's, yeah. that's what we come for. Better than, better than the football, eh? <laughs> what do you like about your burger? Well, I don't have a burger, I have a, I have a bacon thing, I don't. You wouldn't consider a vegetarian option? No, definitely not. It's vegetarian. There's three priorities of football. The first one's a pint, the second one's a burger, and the third one is a home win. Vegetables should be banned, not burgers. You have to feed a cow 10 kilograms of soya protein in order to get one kilogram of cow protein at the other end. So you could feed 10 vegetarians or one meat eater. So there's a big environment issue at a time when the planet is, uh, is, is overcrowded and we are struggling to feed ourselves. Um, so there is an environment driver, uh, but our first driver is health. The case for a more environmentally friendly and healthy alternative is up against a long-standing tradition. So Jeff, it's over to you. Do the boys in the studio think the forest green model is a fantastic green recipe. Well, we're going to try it. These actual burgers that will be served at Forest Green. So, Dale Vince, your verdict coming up. 
Well, you're the absolute aficionado, Matt, so what do you make of it? That is a load it's not of bad, actually. It has. It's, that's quite nice, actually. It's all right. A bit bland. A bit? <laughs> a bit bland. A bit bland. A bit bland. Why? Because mm. there's not any chips in it. No, yeah, by the way, there's only one. It's all the right. Best pies it's all right. It's better League than I Black thought it was going to be. Mm. It's better than I thought it was going to be. It's quite spicy. I think they're not mm. bad. But that's not the bad. relish. Nice, yeah. Not bad at all. So, look, Dale, it gets the thumbs up within reason, I'd say. Hmm. You'd certainly eat it, that's for sure. And we will. <laughs> but not just yet. Um, let's show you what's happening elsewhere, shall we?